Hey, what's up guys? Theojo Tech here, and I thought it would be fun to talk about self-driving cars because I think we all know that they're coming, maybe not immediately, might take a while, but when they do finally arrive, and in mass, when most people start using them, I think it's gonna change the world in a lot of ways that people might not be thinking about right away. The first obvious case is convenience. If you're driving to work and commuting for an hour every day, that's a lot of time. And if you have a self-driving car, you could read in the car, you could do some work, get stuff done early, and it would be just a lot more productivity. So it's not just driving to the store and people being lazy, oh, I don't feel like driving. It would add a lot to productivity as well. And the second thing to think about is safety, not just in terms of people are bad at driving, but also, you know, for example, if you're going to a bar and some people don't want to spend a cab or they think they're sober enough and they're not and they end up driving home getting in an accident it's really bad news well when self-driving cars come out there will not be any worry about that obviously it's going to take a while before we get to the point where all cars are self-driving but when we do you won't have to really worry about people driving drunk because they won't be driving and Cab drivers might not be happy about that, but I mean, I'm sure we'll come up with self-driving cabs as well. But it also adds to efficiency and safety because if we assume that most cars are autonomous or even all of them at some point, they'll be able to all talk to each other. So if there's a deer in the road or something and one car swerves out of the way, right now, uh, the person doesn't see why the person in front of them swerved, so then they have to wait until the deer's in front of him and then, then swerve. But if it's two autonomous cars, the first car could see the deer, for example, and then signal to the car behind it, there's a deer, and then they both swerve at the same exact time because the first car is the only one that had to see it. So this would also be for car accidents on the highway or something. If there's a hazard, then the, the cars in the back already know what's coming because the car in the front saw it. So it would just add a lot of efficiency and safety in that terms as well. And if we also assume that cars can talk to themselves, there would really not be any more traffic jams. How many times have you been on the highway and there seems to be a slowdown for no apparent reason? You know, there's no car crash, you just pull up to a big gridlock and you think, well, what happened? And then eventually you get past the gridlock after going slow and there's nothing. You know, people were just slowing down because the people in front of them were slowing down and it was like a chain reaction. But if we all had autonomous cars, then there would not be probably any traffic jams because all the cars know where all the other cars are going. So they're going to be able to most efficiently plan maybe which lane they have to be in. Or if they want to move over to the next lane, then it can tell the other cars and they can plan out a way to give it room, and if one car has to exit, then they can plan that without having to slow down or anything like that. It'll all just be so efficient that there has to be virtually no slowdowns at all, which means no chain reactions of backups. And because the cars will hopefully be much better at driving than humans with better reaction times, they can drive much faster than a human could safely. So if you have a speed limit of maybe 50, then the autonomous car could probably safely drive at 70, which means that all the cars would be going much faster on a highway, so it would improve speed in all fronts. But you can also think about traffic lights. If all cars can communicate with each other, maybe we don't need traffic lights anymore. For example, if you think about what a traffic light is for, it's just so people know that they can drive through an intersection without getting hit because if everyone is allowed to go through at the same time, that wouldn't make sense, obviously. But if all the cars can instantly communicate with each other, they might be able to know, oh yeah, I can go right through this intersection because the car coming the opposite de direction isn't gonna get there at all, and they can efficiently plan that. It might look like some bizarre cross pattern where it looks insane and chaos, but it's actually highly coordinated and there's really no danger of crashing, even though there's no traffic light at all. They're just kind of whizzing by each other, different directions, but it all works out. I think that probably is gonna be a long way off because it's not like all cars on the road are gonna be autonomous. Obviously for a long time, people are going to want to drive themselves or not be able to afford an autonomous car. And initially, that's gonna be the small minority is autonomous cars. And we might never even get to a point where all cars are autonomous because people might just want to drive. So they won't all be like that. Although I expect that all cars in the future will have some sort of standard communication module so that if you break, 
then all the cars around you get a signal that you're braking, so it's kind of like universal. So even if your car isn't driving itself, it can still communicate to the other cars what you're doing. But autonomous cars aren't going to be just useful for the individual person being lazy not wanting to drive, but also for business. I mean, you think about how many trucks are driving on the roads right now and they have to be manned by a person and the person has to drive and rest and eat and can only drive for a certain number of hours. If you have a fleet of autonomous trucks that can drive without stopping and they don't have to sleep and they don't make errors, think about what kind of business boon that would be if things can get places way more quicker, much more efficiently. But overall, I think this is a pretty awesome time to be alive. I think in the next 10 years, we're gonna see some pretty crazy developments in autonomous vehicles. That's coming from zero experience whatsoever. I have no credentials to say 10 years, but I'm hoping in 10 years. And if you guys have any other weird ideas about what autonomous cars could be used for, uh, let us know down in the comments section. We can talk about it down there as well. If you enjoyed this video and thought it was interesting, give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. If you want to continue watching, I've got some other videos on the right hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link like if you're on a phone. If you want to subscribe, I make new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I think you'll enjoy that. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys either here on YouTube or on Twitter. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.